Jesus thinks um, the princess's flowers are beautiful too. I think God wants for women, for them to realize who they are in Him, that they do have a voice, that they do have a role, and that they're a value in the kingdom. It's for women to gain to, to gain identity, to get beyond what, you know, Vogue or Cosmopolitan says that you are. Perspective of God for yourself. So to actually look at yourself through the eyes of God. God, we are princesses! Yeah! Yeah? <laughs> and we were ponies! I think women are God's jewels and crown and glory. And in nature, you see birds and it's the male bird that's beautiful, but in humans, he's got beautiful women. You I should see our like husbands. <laughs> <laughs> They're bald and beautiful. And Jesus hates princesses are beautiful. With Deborah, a woman got the victory. So I think when God wants to get the job done, he calls one of us in. You look at JL, you look at Rahab, they're all tough women. That's why we're the ones who raise children. God eight. entrusts us eight. Eight. Actually, a couple more in heaven. But. Yeah, yeah. He lets the girls do some stuff they want, but not they did it. They want. When I think about the dream of God for women, I think that, of course, it varies. He made us all different. So he wants us to find our own identities and to be what he's called us to be, you know? And so that's going to vary from woman to woman. You know, I think that we're all capable of more. I think we sell ourselves short. Women are strong! Jesus is strong! Amy Carmichael went to India and she ended up rescuing over a thousand children from becoming temple prostitutes. They said yes to God and to what was on his heart. And I think that's the key is you just need to find out what is God's desire and what is on his heart for you and saying yes and stepping out in faith. And it's just small steps and see where the Lord takes it. Thanks, Will and Sarah.